Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pleased to join Quantum Medical Symposium. I would like to present the treatment of the CSC with subliminal laser. I'm Shaolin Liu from Wenzhou Medical University Eye Hospital, China. So, central serous retinal colloidal retinopathy (CSCR) is a common macular disease. The conventional laser is an effective therapy. However, it may damage the RPE and outer retina and may cause paracentral sarcoma and other complications. The micropulse laser has been reported as a novel treatment option. However, the variety of the laser burn locations lead to inconsistent as a result. As far as we know, there's no trail to assess the subliminal laser in, in CSCR. Here, I'm going to present our study. The purpose is to assess the efficacy and safety of subliminal laser substrate treatment with the conventional laser treatment in CSCR. In this study, Half patient, 44, get conventional laser treatment, and another half use the subliminal laser treatment. The primary efficacy major outcome measurement was the changing of the BCVA from the baseline to week 12. And the secondary outcome measure was the proportion of the total subretinal absorption at week 12. Here are the inclusion and exclusion criteria. Considering the limitation of the conventional laser, we choose a patient with active leakage area in the ETDRS ring two and or four of on the fluorescent angiography. All of the patient with subliminal, subliminal fluid involves the macular. Here are the, um, most of the baseline clinical characteristic was similar between the two groups. Mean BCVA is uh, 77 letters. The mean age is 44 years old. More than 75% of the patient, the fluorescent leakage on the ring, ring two. But, uh, are more female in the subliminal laser group. For the subliminal laser group, the power was detected in each patient use micropulse model. Once the laser burn become visible, the threshold is set. As low as 50% of the threshold power would be delivered to the leakage lesion area under the guide of the fluorescent age images. So in the subliminal laser is more burn overlay <coughs> and the, like this one. This is the laser parameter for this study. For the conventional laser, the laser burn was just visible using the continuous, continuous laser model. So, so the result, the primary outcome. The graph shows the BCVA was improved from the week three to week 12. The vision get four letters at seven weeks and improved to six weeks at 12, at, at six letters at 12. The change in BCVA was were not statistically significant between two groups. In terms of the proportion of the absorption of the subretinal fluid, we can see at three week, almost half, up, and the seven week, almost similar. It was six, six, 66 percent in subliminal laser group and 82 percent in the conventional group. So 
at, at three and seven week is the same almost. And at 12 week, there was no statistical significant difference between the two groups. It's the same. It's similar. The central retinal thickness was rapidly reduced after the treatment in both groups. The mean reduction of the CRT in subliminal group was less than conventional laser group. For the safety, by the funder's color imaging evaluation, laser-induced scarring was detected in 33% patient in conventional growth, and no one in subliminal laser growth. So the difference between the two groups was statistically significant. For the retreatment, Nine patient still had active frozen leakage, received a second laser treatment at week 12. Five eyes from the subliminal laser group and four in the conventional laser group. Now we see some case. Case one is a 43 years old male, has vision problem for, for eight weeks, the vision was 80 letters before treatment, and the angiography shows a leakage at ring two with subfovea fluid. This patient, we use the OCT follow-up. So we can see at week three, the subretinal fluid is reduced, and at week seven, it's disappeared. The vision improved from 80 to 85. That's normal. Again, five letters. Case two. This is a 36 years old male. Left eye has a problem for six weeks. The vision was 79 letters before treatment. So frozen angiography shows the leakage in the ring two. For the OCT scan follow-up, we can see in the third week three, the subretinal fluid is disappeared, and the vision improved from 79 to 84. Also get five letter, it's 20 over 20. But we care for the OCT observation, we can find RPE changes here. Conclusion, subliminal laser subthreshold treatment promotes the absorption of a subretinal fluid effectively and improves the vision accurately. It was now inferior to conventional laser for the improving of the vision accurately at week 12. It's safer than conventional laser treatment. Thank you for your attention.